first president ever to speak at a Veterans Day parade in New York City. Kelly Sadler with us, America First Action Pack Communications Director. It seems to me like the president is going right to his base, or right to the people, yeah. I should say, really. He went to Atlanta, mm -hmm. he went to the, the football game mm -hmm. in, in Alabama, he's in New York City. Mm -hmm. Is this the strategy? Take the message to the people? Uh, well, obviously, yes. Um, and the president really is trying to connect with different constituencies. We, so, we see the campaign launch, um, you know, uh, basically a coalition for African Americans touting all of his accomplishments um, within that community, inclu including record low unemployment and increased funding for HBCUs. Uh, we see that uh, with veterans, and today is Veterans Day, and I want to thank all of the veterans out there for their service. Um, and the president has, you know, a committee for veterans, and he's passed the VA Choice Act so that these veterans can get the care that they need outside the VA system. So go to those groups, to yes. tell them what I've done. Tell, yes, exactly. Okay. Now, I don't know whether you saw this, but I'm going to quote it. It's from the Washington Post. They got an op-ed today. Uh, on, this is about last week's elections, Kentucky and Virginia. Here's the quote. The vote counts from Kentucky, Virginia, and elsewhere represent the latest hard data about voter tendencies. And on the whole, they imply that even in long-time southern bastions of Republican conservatism, people in support, uh, people support a pragmatic, progressive direction in policy and a decent, inclusive style of leadership, okay? Mm -hmm. Decent, inclusive style of leadership. You know, what they're talking about there is the, sub the suburbs yes. problem. That's what they're, they're saying. Yes. Um, well, we have to put this in perspective. First off, the president was never on any of these tickets. Um, so this is not 2020. We are not worried about losing Kentucky. We're not lose worried about losing Mississippi in 2020. Um, when it comes to the suburbs, this is a different issue. If you look at Pennsylvania, you see, you know, Philadelphia suburbs going blue. But then you look at western Pennsylvania and Pittsburgh, those suburbs are remaining and staying red. So... Okay. Hey, look, uh, look, can you acknowledge that suburban people are moving away from the Trump camp and moving towards the Democrat camp? In generally to, general terms, that's true. No, I, listen, when you, it depends on the Democrats. You did a segment earlier today, they are in a civil war. Now, when you juxtapose the president against uh, Elizabeth Warren or Bernie Sanders, there was a New York Times Siena poll that came out last week that he leads both of these people. When they go to these radical left agendas, when they're talking about Medicare for all, when they're talking about you know taking away your second amendment, when they're talking about banning fracking, these are issues that impact suburban voters and that we are seeing um, they stand against. So, they, yeah, they might not like the president's style, but they do like his policy, Stuart, and we're seeing that over and over again. All right, Kelly, thank you as always for being with us. Thank Appreciate you. Appreciate that. Next